This is a series of videos about Cato Pass, a science fiction model railway layout. Now I've made science fiction model railways a few times now. I've got a few engines already and locomotives. I've also made a couple of layouts. This one, Cato Pass, is going to be a bit different. Rather than a normal loop, which I have, and I like loops because you just leave the trains running, you can chat to people while they're running, you don't have to operate them. And that's what I like. I don't really like operating them if I can avoid it. This one's going to be an end-to-end -end layout. So I'm going to put in some automation. Make it analog, DC, automation, gauge master, do a shuttle unit. And I'm going to use that and just get that power in. A couple of little shunters going up and down the layout. Okay, so what is the theme of this layout? Well... It's going to be an underground missile silo and with that idea in mind I'm utilizing some of my model rockets. Now this is an actual Estes flying model rocket. It has flown several times. In fact, that's the parachute and shot called in there. It could actually fly again. It won't know. It's now modified and made ready to sit on the layout Kato Pass. And why is it called Kato Pass? Well Kato is a little rocketry term meaning catastrophe at takeoff. So that's where it's derived from. And I just like the word pass, so Kato Pass. It's short and snappy. A shockwave. This rocket is one I designed myself. It's got rather unusual wings and I thought that would fit in nicely with science fiction space marines and orcs. So the layout is going to have Space Marines and Orcs fighting over the control of the missile silo or rocket launch bay, whatever you want to call it. The idea is it was Space Marine owned, the Orcs took it over, they can't figure out how to launch this rocket and the Space Marines are mounting an attack to get it back and they're coming in from above through the launch hull. So the layout is going to be a box. Six foot by two foot by two foot with a hole in the top, nine and a half inches round. And there'll be a little bit of modelling on top of this diorama. And that's where the Space Marines are attempting to dive into the missile silo to rescue it. And then I thought, hmm, I kind of like steampunk as well. And this is Victorian steam mixed with modern day technology and... So I've decided to get some steampunk characters as well and at a certain point while I'm displaying the layout I can swap the Space Marines and Orcs for steampunk characters. The rocket needs to change a little as well. That's sort of Space Marine style I think. And so I've already made a steampunk style rocket. This is sort of not really a missile, more of a rocket that someone could fly in. In this front section I could imagine taking off and flying separately on its own if it needed to. And it's got all these pipes and pieces jutting out. I've looked at some images and modified them and this is the sort of background image that the layout will have. I've currently got the baseboard being made by someone and they're doing it to my specs. They've made a technical drawing. I've added to that technical drawing some other details. So this shows the exact position of the hull and where the back scene image is going to sit and the rocket just slightly off centre. And this is roughly how the layout will look. I'm laying it out on a board. This is actually slightly wider than the two foot. That is about the size, the width of the layout. And this grey area is only five foot long. It will be six foot. But it's going to have first and second radius curves and a few other little areas. And also... I'm going to replicate this track and have it higher up at about that level on stilts 
and the idea is that these trains that are running on those tracks they operate on the rocket fuel it up do whatever they need to do so you will look at the layout through the front section a bit like a television set you'll be looking into a box and you'll see the rocket sitting there and these trains going up and down that's the plan the baseball box is being made now and so in a few weeks I expect to start getting all this together so here are the two rockets sci-fi steampunk and sci-fi 40k which stands for year 40,000 <laughs>